वेट हर बांग का इज लिटरली अ डोमेन एक्सपेंशन दैट्स द मोस्ट हाइप शेट आई सीन ऑल ईयर वट एन इन सेन फिनाले टू दिस पार्ट ऑफ ब्लीच थाउजेंड ईयर ब्लड वार दीज टू एपिसोड कंटेन सम ऑफ द मोस्ट हाई ब्लीच फाइट्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिसरिस्पेक्टफुल एंड मे मोमेंट्स अ फकिंग डोमेन एक्सपेंशन इवन मांगा रीडर्स नॉट नोइंग वट द हेल्स अबाउट टू हैपन नाउ एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट अनोइंग क्लिफ हैंगर्स पॉसिबली ऑफ ऑल टाइम लाइक सीरियसली द फाइनल एपिसोड ब्लू बॉर्ड मी सो डैम हार्ड and even though it is sad that we won't have new episodes for a while part 3 of TYBW has been officially announced along with a key visual featuring Uryu and a short PV for part 3 so bleach fans are eating good for a while especially the manga readers because of all the added content that just makes the arc so much better welcome to my channel baseless upain and this is my thoughts on the final two episodes of bleach TYBW part 2 the separation and make sure to watch till the end because even though i absolutely loved these two episodes boy do i have some spicy opinions about the final episode that some people are probably not going to be a fan of so without wasting any more time let's get started starting off the first thing i want to mention is the fact that i'm so damn glad i don't have to see that freaking red sky anymore like holy shit It was cool at first but over time it just got more and more annoying to look at and felt bland. We also got to see Yoruichi's sister so that was cool and getting to see that Kisuke might be willing to do some messed up things for the sake of soul society adds a lot to his character especially his conversation with Hiyori. The rest of the episode was mostly dedicated to the fight between Squad 0 and the Royal Guards or at least the three remaining ones. being asking Uryu and Hashwald and i don't know if other people feel the same way but i felt like the animation on this episode was better than the finale of course the bankai scene was the exception and probably the highlight between both episodes but i personally liked the fights in this episode way more especially the choreography and the animation in the tenjiro fight Also the back and forth between the fights in both these episodes was insane. Like damn, how many times are they going to pull the Uno reverse card? We finally get to see Ichibe fight and see his powers, which are absolutely insane by the way. Like he literally has the power to erase names of anything his brush touches and Yuha literally shooting himself with his arrow to stop himself from getting slapped to the ground and going back up was freaking badass. Eventually Asken, Uryu and Hashwald get defeated by Squad Zero members and Yuha gets his power cut in half and Ichibe drops the most badass line of this episode saying he only cut Yuha's powers in half because Yuha would lose face to his subordinates if he lost at his full power like damn that is some A tier shit talking right there and you love to see it then we cut back to the soul society and we get to witness one of the most disturbing bleach moments of all time with Giselle and Bambiata that i would rather not talk about at all and forget as soon as possible moving on from that we finally cut back to the royal palace again and yuha uses his ability the name of which i'm not even going to try to pronounce and basically absorbs all the powers of the quincy is down at the soul society and revives and buffs his royal guards and gains his powers back and that is where episode 25 ends this episode is the continuation of the fight between squad 0 and the royal guards the royal guards get revived and receive buffs from yuha and are basically on the winning side for a major part of the episode we also get one of the most disrespectful anime moments of all time during the oetsu and lile baro fight oetsu gets shot by lile and he says to lile I guess these must be the new powers that you received. And Lile is like, "Nah, bro, these are just my normal powers." Like goddamn, bro. Bros of freaking savage, especially asking Squad 0 to line up so he can kill all of them in one shot. The Squad 0 members then try to separate them and try to fight one on one, but get their asses beat. Oetsu, Kiryu and Tenjiro kill themselves, and that allows Senjumaru to use her Bankai. That is literally a domain expansion by the way and it was so damn insane. 
especially because it's not in the manga and for that matter most of the fight was basically completely different from the manga and it's a good change because people did not like the fight we got in the manga at all and honestly for good reason Senju Maru's Bankai also happens to have the longest name I had ever seen until a few minutes later when we get to see the name of our attack like damn how long is that freaking name and i love the fact that basically no one knows what exactly her bankai does even the manga readers are blind and it's just speculations right now but yeah she basically uses her bankai to i guess trap or kill the royal squad members we don't know the confirmation if they are dead or not yet and now moving on to the ichibe and yuha fight i'll be honest this was personally somewhat disappointing and anticlimactic They end the episode with the cliffhanger implying that Ichibe defeated Yuha and it just doesn't work as a finale at all especially considering that I was expecting the conclusion to this fight but they end it off on a cliffhanger where they don't even try to make you believe that Yuha actually lost and considering how much the episode was being hyped up I expected this episode to have animation on the level of Yamamoto versus Yuha fight Even I myself hyped up this episode by making a short and talking about it on my video about episode 24. So it personally felt very anticlimactic to me. But honestly, I don't have anyone but myself to blame for that, for having such high expectations and wanting the fight between Yuha and Ichibe to be this episode. But at the same time, even though I am disappointed right now, It's going to be good for the future of the Bleach anime in the long run because they added so much new content in these two episodes that just make this arc so much better. And it's quite obvious that they were having production issues by the fact that they literally added a 5 minute long cone skit in the finale. So it's better for both the fans and animators that they take their time working on it and start off core 3 with a bang. So if you're someone like me who also felt disappointed by the anticlimactic finale I would say that you don't need to worry because we are definitely going to get the payoff for this disappointing finale the next part and it's going to be glorious But yeah those are pretty much my thoughts on these two episodes overall I preferred episode 25 but Senjumaru's Bankai was definitely the highlight of this entire part Love all the added content and can't wait to see more in part 3. Also I will be making a review of this entire part so make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss it. Leave a like on this video, share it with your friends and comment what you guys thought about these two episodes as well as this video. With all that being said though, have a nice day and peace.